Today uh, we, we're going to uh, look at the uh, save folders uh, more carefully. So every time you boot, except uh, the initial uh, quick setup, uh, you, you should have a, a save folder. Although some people can use save file, I think that's usually uh, uh, in older puppy Linux. But the more recent ones uh, uniformly uh, use a save folder and I recommend that. So if you can look at the uh, save folder that I have uh, loaded up right now. Uh, well, let me just uh, tell you what uh, I'm running. This is a Puppy Linux, obviously, and uh, I'm running one of the uh, newer Puppy Linux with uh, called P uh, Bookworm Pub64. And this is uh, strictly uh, strictly based on uh, Debian 12, uh, which is the latest Debian, uh, mainly uh, with the package system. So you can use apt uh, command and also it has a synaptic package manager. But let's take a look at the uh, save folder um, that I'm running now. And we'll just go ahead and click on the partition that I have a save a folder that I always save and I put it also in the uh, save folder itself. So right now I have uh, dpub save which is the uh, name that's given for this save folder bookworm uh, pub so I also have a I can also boot into fossa pub 64 uh, so I have both of them showing but uh, so let's take a look at the uh, what I want to do is uh, modify some of the uh, a configuration, <coughs> mainly uh, configuration using another uh, uh, save folder from Fossa Pub 64. So let's just go ahead and open that up, and then what what we'll see is a uh, uh, so within the save folder for Pub uh, 64, Fossa Pub 64, there is a uh, file system similar. So this is over here is a book warm a uh, pub64. This is a root directory and I can just uh, unhide the uh, hi hidden uh, files with the control H and we'll bring it back up. And then this is essentially equivalent to root directory of the uh, fossa pub64. So uh, what I can do is borrow many of the configuration uh, to uh, to here so we don't have to go through the initial configuration one by one. So for example, um, we can go ahead and take a look at the I, uh, I find it very useful to have a separate a dot bash aliases as I uh, showed you here. And uh, so we can uh, just go ahead and drag this over in here and then to copy so there is a uh, file now to be able to use this file with all my aliases and the prompt actually uh, so uh, we can just take a look at this file here so here is a uh, Elias, so let me just go ahead and uh, bring it up so we can just take a look at the bash dot bash aliases. So it has uh, many of my uh, aliases, for example, if I just bring in a, uh, a terminal and just type in X, it exits the uh, terminal uh, itself, and if I just type in uh, Elias, so let me just go ahead and demonstrate it. And then type in LL right now. It's not going to recognize as a command, but, but it's equivalent to LS. Uh, it'll be equivalent to LS uh, space LH. So this is the command, uh, the uh, result that will show up if we, uh, once this is activated, uh, just type in LL rather than this longer command. But right now if I just type in X it will also not exit. So then, it, but so I have to do a, a, a 
exit uh, complete word so and also uh, Elias's file can also give you a change in prompt the configuration of the prompt which is the command the line here and it'd be a little bit more fancy with and this is what I prefer and I have same uh, bash Elias's in every uh, puppy Linux that I run so Now, to have this uh, list activated, what you have to do is uh, uh, have to add a line of code in the ba dot bash RC, which is dot bash RC, which is exactly the same here. So, what I want to do is add the line at the end. So, go here, and then the line that needs to be added will just cheat and then. Uh, from from my uh, my the other save folder, and then we'll go back here, and then the line that needs to be added to uh, to make sure that the bash aliases file is read is right here. So source uh, and uh, followed by this, and this needs to be saved obviously, and then needs to be. Uh, uh, activated by rebooting or uh, not by uh, rebooted so we can uh, take a look at the uh, terminal again and uh, you can see that uh, prompt has been uh, uh, changed and then uh, see if uh, it's reading the Elias uh, file so we'll just type in X and it closes so it's uh, apparently it's reading the dot bash uh, 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 Elias's file which is what I wanted and similarly what I can do is copy some of the other uh, files from fossa pub uh, folder uh, save folder now J dot J uh, jwmrc uh, uh, has primarily a function uh, here of uh, setting up this uh, uh, this menu but uh, the the programs that are installed in uh, Bookworm here uh, is uh, different than the Fossa Pub 64. So I I I will not copy that part. But the uh, uh, the tray is right now Bookworm uh, tray is down here, and you can see that. Uh, but I think I think that I prefer the. Uh, the tray uh, set up in uh, a fossa pub so you can just go ahead and move it over but prior to that uh, probably the best uh, is to go ahead and rename this tray file so we'll just go ahead and right click on it and then rename and it's uh, usually F2 and then that and then we'll get good original okay and we'll just n rename it like that and then that way we can just go ahead and drag this over uh, into a copy mode okay so we have a copy of this file now uh, similarly what I can do is uh, uh, I can go ahead and uh, copy the uh, GTK 2.0 uh, and if I just go ahead and copy uh, mine GTK20 and then this uh, little file that I created uh, here, what and then put it in the copy over here. What this will do is uh, uh, give a, a black color in the background of the rocks once it's set up, once we reboot the graphic uh, uh, driver. So we'll go ahead and um, it's good idea again to go ahead and uh, change this uh, name to uh, GTKRC-2.0 dot org if you want. Uh, and then similarly, what I uh, prefer to do is uh, also uh, copy some of the other files. So local files uh, has. Uh, I know I can uh, just go ahead and copy that from my save file and then GTP 
GFTP is what I use and it's already set up uh, and then so based on your experience you can uh, you know which files are safe to go ahead and uh, copy over and so icons is okay G, uh, G thumb my application has a uh, uh, scripts uh, so we'll go ahead and copy the my bash own bash scripts and my fit for pictures has a further uh, my own custom uh, uh, a folder so we'll talk about this JWM uh, later and then I'll just copy over from uh, the fonts and choices and we'll just copy all that over okay so we'll go ahead and copy that over Take a, a little bit of time And then you can always tell when there is a change in a, uh, a file or folder uh, in a rocks file uh, because then you can, uh, there is a bold, a bold uh, appearance to the lettering. So um, we'll just go ahead and copy all that over. And then the app, my under my application, these are my uh, own uh, Bash scripts. That's uh, uh, very helpful with uh, keyboard, uh, mainly with a keyboard function, uh, makes it much easier for me. So, so the point of this is to uh, let you know that even with another save folder, you can copy some of the configuration files safely to make uh, a configuration much easier. So let's take a look at the JWM folder from from um, from FOSA pub uh, uh, save folder. So the JWM uh, RC personnel file has uh, mainly to do with keyboard, your personal keyboard uh, binding, which I find very helpful. So we'll go ahead and uh, this and also theme. Uh, I prefer the theme. Uh, for example, here the color and so on. I prefer the theme that I have my own uh, fossa pub. So we'll go ahead, and click those two, and then click it over and drag it over to JWM, and then we're gonna copy that over. So under JWM, these two files has been changed. So now I have my own keyboard binding so we'll go a little faster uh, after we reboot similarly uh, what we can do is also take a look at the main configuration folder of uh, bookworm so here we have a lot of folders but the right now the rocks uh, filer has uh, default setting which uh, I prefer uh, my own on the FOSA pub so you can safely uh, transfer the rocks uh, many of the uh, rocks file uh, configuration uh, detail uh, by uh, copying that o uh, over so we'll go ahead and uh, it I find it much quicker if you just delete this folder first and then uh, and then go ahead and uh, copy this over. While we're copying it, we'll not only copy that, uh, but I have my own uh, GIMP, Dead Beef, which is a music player, uh, G Thumb, which is a photo editor in my case, and then uh, LX Terminal, which is uh, what we are using here. And uh, let's see what else. And Genie, okay. So that's the editor. So I can get, just copy and drag those over. And then, uh, so these are fairly safe uh, in that you can go ahead and uh, use the configuration files from FOSA pub to be transferred over the bookworm. 
So now we're going to continue uh, after rebooting and see uh, what that looks like. Now we rebooted uh, with a uh, new configuration. You can see that there is a it's lost this uh, background wallpaper, uh, but uh, uh, you can also see the tray has uh, been uh, transferred, uh, moved to the uh, top here with a different my my own preferred theme. Uh, so it, to me, it looks much better, and. Uh, uh, also, uh, and then we can confirm, see if my own uh, uh, keyboard uh, shortcuts has been uh, implemented or not just by typing in, just clicking super key and E, which is uh, automatically, uh, it should go to the uh, uh, fifth uh, workspace and uh, launch Genie, which it has done. So uh, that's been, so I can confirm that the uh, a batch file works now and my keyboard works so and uh, we looked at uh, 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 Elias's file before and this is the personnel file this is uh, right now uh, is the uh, pr the keyboard uh, binding uh, so right now it's uh, on a fuss up up it's set up to uh, run Rofi when I uh, press control and space uh, but on a default uh, on a bookworm it runs uh, this here which is a synapse so we can go ahead and change that to synapse and we can go ahead and save it and we'll go ahead and restart the uh, AWM and then now, if I con uh, control spacebar, control spacebar should start synapse, and indeed it does. So, so this is how you. Uh, so we can go ahead and start uh, URXVT, or we'll just go ahead and type in LX terminal. And then you can see that uh, LX terminal has started. So, and then we're going to type in here again X, and then we'll go ahead and close with the my uh, preferred key uh, of just to close any program is uh, F4. And let me show you that command. So here, because I have this as my default in all my. Uh, uh, Puppet Linux, I can just simply click on F4 and closes it. So I hope I've given you some idea of how to set up uh, quickly by using another uh, uh, f uh, folder from another uh, Puppet uh, ISO. So I hope this has been helpful. Thanks.